you bastard. What do you mean? Did not log in. To what? To... Bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, here we go. On live. Okie dokie. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. And this is Lunch, coming to you live from Deltona, Florida. Here are the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. everybody this is les and this is jack welcome to another edition of lunch with les and jack where we interpret the shroud of the avatar news so you don't have to do anything besides question your own personal life choices and ours because they definitely deserve to be questioned That's it right. is <clears throat> Voting day for Taco those that Tuesday. did not participate in the uh, uh, early voting like I did. And Laz mailed in his vote. Yes, got to do it early just to make sure. Yes. And then uh, don't forget giveaways are open on both streams. Exclamation mark bundle me for the streamer bundles. And if you want to get in on the Steam Key giveaways, you need to... Exclamation mark, I love free shit on Lazistry and pound the bootay on mine. That's uh, fun stuff. You ready for Absolutely. this Taco Tuesday? I am ready. Also known as two for Tuesday. So make sure you are in because we'll be doubling up on those streamer bundle giveaways. Oh, yes. And yes, of will. course, welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is, as Jack said, Election Day here in the United States, Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. And if you haven't already done so after the show, don't do it during the show. Get off your butts oh, yeah. and go out and vote. But uh, finally, oh. they got here today. Been, oh, been what got there today? Been, been waiting for them. Depends. Been oh, the Laz and Jack Funko. <laughs> the Laz and Jack Funko. The Laz and Jack Funko Pops have arrived. Yes. That's right. Yes. With, with, with kitties included. <laughs> Yay. 
Yes. Is you too can make yourself into a Funko Pop. And I'll tell you what, yeah. these guys are real serious with their packaging so that uh, your box doesn't come crushed or anything oh, like man. that. Is uh, they, they have this uh, box in a box that, you know, seals and, and supports and, you know, does whatever it's supposed to do so that, uh, you know, your actual inside box stays nice and secure and, you know. I was I was really shocked yes. with this uh, with this <laughs> packaging, but uh, yes, well, I, I, yeah. So how much does it uh, cost? Uh, well, how much does it cost for yourself immortalized in doll form? Uh, way too much. Is uh, yeah. for, for for the two pack? I think it was seventy plus dollars to uh, have both Laz and Jack made and, and included and, in and the, the, the bundle. And, and the, the kitties, kitties, yes, and the kitties, yes, because uh, each of us has w one kitty accompanying us. Uh, couldn't add more, otherwise, I would have added, uh, you know, at least two, but uh, you can only add one yes. per order per, per pop. So, is uh, each of us has a respective kitty with us in the box, which is really cool. And they, they really look uh, really cool, I'll tell you what, the kitties, especially. But the pops came out really, really nice. Uh, Jack's holding a microphone with some popcorn because Jack likes to sit there and stir the pot and enjoy enjoy the I show. I don't know what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about stirring the pot. And, I just make observations yeah. that, that that other people also make, and then and uh, connect a few dots for for people that have not connected a few dots. And then the last pop has a microphone and, of course, a mug of beer because, you know, uh, yeah. I'm last. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys on yes. the lot? Yes, yes you need, we are. You need, you need the patch. So, so yeah, uh, speaking of patch, because there we was a patch. patch. Notes. So let's start with the forum announcement. Yes. Today. For release 131, patch one has been deployed. This patch brings in four more player dungeons, three recipes, and one in the crown store. Two of the recipes and blueprints can be obtained via in-game merchants, and the third via lot loot drop in Brittany sewers. We have addressed uh, adjusted the green potion cauldron. So it should no longer disappear at a short distance on the Windows client. Enjoy. Um, and then we do have the patch notes uh, for build number 1742, where they fixed missing walls and dungeon pieces. Enabled access to the rest of this release's new dungeon pieces. Added blueprints and recipes for the cellar dungeon, cellar antechamber, um, and stone dungeon room village lot cellar one to booksellers and added the blueprint and uh, recipe for the stone dungeon room village lot cellar connection to Brittany sewers. Added the stone dungeon room city lot cellar to the crown store. Let's go look at the crown store real quick. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly yeah. what I'm planning Re on doing. Recently so. added. And let's go find the city lot cellar. Stone dungeon room city lot cellar 650. $6.50. Yeah, I, gotta, gotta I, get I, it. I, I, I approve of that price. Gotta get it. Yes. All right. I so. hope you do too. Okay, so. Yes. Are we going to go place it? Uh, we could. <clears throat> we could. Or just... are we going to continue the patch notes well we, we'll continue to patch notes because i'm curious about one thing and i've got it right here on the lot as well yes 
made the name of the blueprint for the ancient stone dungeon room cathedral match the item because Stroud logic um, made the name of the recipe of the bagpipe match the I bagpipe bag match the item. What's a bagpipe bag? Uh, Keep your bagpipe in it. Yeah, I'm curious. I don't know. Yeah, and, and disabled <laughs> the LOD group for the grain potion cauldron. Updated the Mojita Memorial text with the author's name, which, you know, which is, is in the bridge on in Al's head. Is is that where it is? Because it doesn't say yeah. that the memorial. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have um, to go take a look then, at that. And in Vicklin, they fixed a typo in Leva's response for the amulet of testimony. So let, let's go down to the bridge and and check that out. And then we can swing over to your other lot that's outside the walls. <clears throat> Is that where you want to place the dungeon again? Yeah, we're going to go to that same dungeon, so... Okay. Let's take a jump down to the town crier. Yes. And over to the bridge. And let's go look at the... Who authored that memorial comment is that gonna be stymie whoa the, the the sheep loaded like when i was right on top of them and that's the piece of paper that's right there and that is uh edna klein recce is the author of that Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's, you know, the author of the Rainbow Bridge. I mean, you know, it's not exactly what, uh, was this paper? Yeah, I guess yeah. this paper was here. Uh, we just yes. didn't see and it. We, we, originally. I saw it and we read it last week. No, we didn't. Was, uh, yeah, we did. No, we yes, did. Yes, we did. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Go back to the tape. I will. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, yes, we did read it. Uh, no, we didn't. Yes, we did. Holy crap. Holy storage containers, Batman. What? And you run by all these storage containers? I don't who's, know. Whose lot is this? Somebody, uh... I, I'm, I'm running towards your lot, if I yeah. can find it. Carpe I have no idea where it is, so... Uh, if you come down to the road and just go right across the road right here, it's right there at the pavilion. I have no idea where it's at. Oh, I'll invite you to the party so that you can find me. Dun, 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 dun. Where is... Where the hell did Where you is go? Lazarus's nameplate plate? I I don't see your nameplate in the map. No, you 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 went way up there. I'm south. I'm yeah, south. We're at the pavilion. Yeah. Other side of the pavilion. There you go. You don't see my nameplate here. No. Oh wait, did I turn off, I turned off nameplates? That's why. Oh okay. Well, you Let's gotta wait. You gotta wait here while I enter. Add and the room. Add the room. So we can see what this looks like. So let's get down in here. I'm wondering if I should just add it to one of these existing ones or pull up the existing ones that are there now. I guess we'll yes. have to. Run through the ones that we've already added. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. And then this is the other one.
Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we'll add it over here. City Lot Cellar takes 24 yeah. dungeon points. And you can now come down. Okay. It takes 24 points to, to place it? Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. Entering the dungeon. It does not have any in the... Da, 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 da. Gotta go chase after you. I don't see you uh, on the. There you are. There you go. Oh, uh, this is the. Dungeon what? What's room. up with the weird. What's I don't, up with the weird fog? Don't, don't know what the fog is. Maybe, maybe it's an effect of the. Uh, the well. I don't know. But here we go. Into the city dungeon room. For entrance. So there's one. Oh, that's the, that's that's the second wall. one. Yeah, it is. Well, you don't see the X over there. Yeah. But I see. I'll just give it to you real quick so that... Uh, but yeah. but still, the, the question is, what's up with the fog in here? Yeah. Just uh, there's one. I'm just trying to figure out now how we figure the entrances and exits. Okay, the other one's right here, which is really weird okay. location for it. So, so does that mean there's one over here as well? There should be one over there. So I'm gonna just shoot this one. And I'll throw this one in the green room for you. I I don't need the uh, well the, the, just, the X's just so you, on the just so, you, so you can see how weirdly it's placed. It it should be centered into the room. Uh, yeah. not, yeah, not, not right and, here. Let me see if I have another piece on me. No, I don't have another the, the, piece The fun on part me. is there, there's a fun bug report that someone can fill. So look at where I'm standing right now. Okay. Yeah. Now back away from the wall. Does it glitch for you? Mm, what do you mean glitch? Looks fine to me. It, it glitches for me. Yeah, no. So it, it glitches and then it settles down. And then here is the other X, which again is really off center in the room. Actually, it, on it, on is, the columns. Is there one in the next room over? No, that should be the last one. Should be, because the other connection yeah. is the connection we came in on. So that would be... Uh, yeah, the, the, the screenshot I provided doesn't show the, the glitching, because it, it needs to be a video. So, so like all shr shroud logic, it's like, let's put shit right in the middle of a column. Yeah, which just doesn't make much sense because it should be like Here, right in the middle of the wall. Well, it should be like right here. Yeah, but it should be centered. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah. It's it's way off center, it, at least. Look, look at, look at, come back in here. Yeah. Come back in this one. Look, look at how sunken this column is. Oh, it's a corner piece. Um, shouldn't there be other corner pieces for the other corners? Uh, you would think. I mean, it looks like there was one here, but uh, it wasn't put in. And looks like there might have been one there because there's the top pieces there. The, uh, you know, the. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so, it, which means it's sunken so far behind the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the corner piece there. 
Yeah, that one's got it. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 And then this one doesn't even have anything on it, this corner piece. Yeah, but like come back out here and, and like is is just bad. There's a column in that corner. Yeah, like why are why are the columns so sunken into Not the really wall? In that one, but let's see what it is. Well, th this one's so far sunken in that you can barely see it. Well, well, yeah, it's, it it does show on the other side of the wall though. Like so it, it th th this this one, you can see like a little <clears> bit. <throat> yeah, they're not quite quite lined up, quite right. And then nothing on this corner. Yeah. This one doesn't look too bad. This one looks terrible. Yeah. And this, this yeah. one is non-existent. Yeah, non-existent. <laughs> I mean, shroud consistency at its finest, right? Yeah. It's interesting how yeah. some of them have it, some of them don't, and some of them are really bad. Yeah. But uh, now I, I, I think it's the way that they lined up the walls because they didn't do like both sides as a texture. So I'm just but gonna, it's like, I'm gonna fly out of here just so I can see what this dungeon is starting to look like real quick. Oh. So. Can you do that while you're in adventure mode? Yes. Okay. So. And actually, can I see the columns from here? That's the interesting part. Yeah. That's the interesting part. So to get out of here, we've got to go forward. Yep. Oh, no, we gotta go that way to get out. But not that way. Have to go to the other room, I guess, over here. And that'll lead us out. God logic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God logic. That was a nice and flimmy, whoever did that. And was that you, Conjure, or was that Maynard? Take this exit and jump off. But yeah, they 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 need some work. Okay, so. That is a preview. Of the new city lot basement dungeon room. Who does? Who does what? I loves the new city lot basement dungeon room. I, I said it was a preview. I didn't say anything that was uh, love. Oh. Yes. Man, we should have used this fucking teleporter right here. There is a teleporter right here, isn't there? Yeah, right right across the bridge. Yeah. Up to the Get upper to pavilion. Lot. Let's go to the bookseller yeah. first. Okay, we're at the bookseller. And see... Well, yeah, I gave you the other recipes, so you should have a recipe that I think should be on here that uh, blueprint, the, the, blueprint, blueprint. The stone dungeon room, cellar, Andy chamber, two connection, and the village one. Under recipes. Recipe, okay, recipe. Nah. What are y'all doing? Maynard, you're my Maynard real quick. Yeah, I'm muting him. Maynard's muted for now. 
but 300 gold for those new recipes. Yeah. Sorry, Maynard. It's all good. It's all good. So, we'll get him back uh, here eventually. Dungeon Room Cellar and Dungeon Room Village. And we will take those and add those to our inventory. I don't need them. I'm not crafting dun recipes in dungeon rooms. Yeah, well, you know, I like to have them. I like to have as many recipes as I can. Here, do you have these? Yeah. Tell me if you've got these. Uh, I've got these. Uh... Yeah, Apparently, I have these already. Does show up oh, blue to you? I, I, those are all blue. All right, you can have them. Okay. You can have them. Why, thank you. You're welcome. I bought them not knowing exactly because it was one of them before I knew how to read what was where. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I love a bear, says the small gnome. <clears throat> Mm, muted. Yes. Okay, but five minutes left for people to get in on the streamer bundles, because remember, two for Tuesday. Yep. Given two out if we remember. Or three out at the end. So I uh, did have uh, some comments uh, from YouTube, if I can find it here. Mm. Hang on. Uh, like, let me get was out it, here. You dirty bastards, what are you still doing this shit for? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, oh, okay. Let me see if the alert is there. Uh, yes. Someone told me I should go have my, uh, my taming gear, uh, masterworked by, uh, Coswold. Hmm. <clears throat> Really? Yeah, because supposedly he has like 160 or something like nice. master working. Yeah. And it's really interesting because I actually got an email notification, but I don't see it in my regular notifications. Oh. So I Ooh. guess I'm going to have to jump out to email and I'll tag and copy that for you. Oh. Uh, so that uh, you can see exactly what was said. And then we're going to go visit uh, this. Uh... Okay, here we go. Which which one? Uh, you'll know it as soon as I drop this in here. Okay. And this was from Jade. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Yesterday we, we mentioned we hoped she was watching to get uh, yes. information about what was going on, and she commented, I'm watching. Oh, so, so, yeah, I am she, watching. So she was yes. watching, uh, just so we know. And we're going to go yes. visit the... Uh, Property controls thread that she posted on initially, real quick. Uh, well, well, um, you uh, might have to reopen it. Yeah, I, I get to go scroll back up. Yeah, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. It'd be easier yeah, if I just okay, dropped okay. it in there for you. It's not that far away. <laughs> you think until you realize how much chatter went on. <laughs> I, well, I mean, someone was posting booby pictures. Um, but then Jade... Uh, problem solved, thanks to Alleyoop and Rinaldi. Uh, thank you so much. No idea how that got unclicked. Uh, thanks, guys. We knew you could help. Um and greetings to Jaden Onyx. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. And thank you, Patrick. Hope to see you soon. 
Yes. So. Uh, Jade actually was in the other instance I was in. Uh, AFK. Okay. So I think she was trying to trying to make an appearance on on the. Uh, so on to the refresh, set. what happened to her? She was doing some decorating, and all of a sudden, she couldn't decorate anymore. And apparently, she hit Went that over hot to the key. home husband husband's computer, and she could decorate. Yeah, so she hit that hot key that she didn't realize was uh, available there. And, of course, uh, thanks to uh, us and uh, Ali Oop and Rinaldi, uh, she was watching our show and did get to go see that that was the problem, and the problem is now solved. So congratulations to solving the problem. And, yes, uh, you know, Always good to know that you're out there checking us out and uh, you know following along. And, and Kino wants everybody to know that he stuck his "I voted" sticker to his forehead. Oh, okay. Goes on the nose, man. Gotta go, it goes on the it, nose. That's, yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, putting putting it on the forehead is not as cool as the nose. <laughs> I mean, because then then it's like, where does the forehead actually end? Yeah. Where the hair begins. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Are, are you walking yeah. around the office with that on your forehead? But it goes on the nose. Y exactly. What hair? I, I do need to shave my head again. Excuse me. Or I should say beard trim my head again. Excuse me. But uh, it is the butt of the hour. Oh, time to close that, announce it, the closing, then click on draw entrant, then draw entrant again, and sit there and say, Kolahari and Knight Rider are going to be getting streamer bundles from me. And, and I forgot Kolahari's got... name again. Kolahari is uh, Cosmo, isn't he? No, Co Kolahari. That that that's DJ is is DJ Cosmo is someone else. Uh, Kolahari is Kolahari. Uh, yes. yeah, he's Kolahari. But yeah, I've got uh, Lomir and Dweep. Oh, nice. As and I Night Rider streamer bundle in your reopen continue. And Lomir, are you coming? Yeah, I'm right. There. Okay. Think we can unmute um, my nerd yet? I don't know. Tell me. I don't know. Let's see. Let's unmute Maynard. Maynard is unmuted. <laughs> Did Maynard win on your side? No, no. No, 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 no. Uh, He's just on his way. And it's Dwip and Dwip. Uh, who am I sending that to? Uh, Limu, right? Le Limu Lionheart. Uh, Ibu Emu. Doug. Yes. That's right. And Lomir, when you get here, let me know. Let's see if this works. Now, where is Andrew? That's what I want to know. Where is Andrew? I, I don't know. But moving right along, is uh, we should have stayed over by the bookseller. Oh, man. <clears throat> Why should we have stayed over by the bookseller? Because of our next topic from Spoon. That doesn't help me. New dungeon blueprint listing on bookseller. I, th uh. I, think he I think he's mistaken, though. The new blueprints have weight zero and only one quantity in the vendor stack. 
Weight is usually 0.1 and quantity is 100. So let's let's go to the buy sell and do a search for blueprint recipe. Nope, he said blueprints. A blueprint. Yeah, and if only I could expand this fucking window to the left and right. So that one's got 10. That one's got 100. That one's got 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. So the only one that has a stack of 10 is the first one, which is the single connection stone dungeon foyer. Yes. All the others had 100. And the weights are all okay. Okay, but the text of the three different blueprints, stone dungeon seller. So let's do a search for stone dungeon seller because that's not on this one. So the stone dungeon sellers are not on this vendor. Seller. Yeah, they are. Oh, what? You gotta just. Wait, wait, it's a hundred, hundred. Mouse over them. Yeah. Oh, I had to, I had to do a search for seller. But yeah, the, the, those have a. Uh, okay, so three, two, one, brumet. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a uh, got a hundred. That's got a hundred. Then the antechamber is here. That's also got. Oh, that one is only one. Which one? Why is why does the anti get a chamber? Why why is why isn't the uncle get a chamber? Have an uncle chamber. So the stone dun dungeon room cellar uh, oh, antechamber oh, yeah. one three by one two connections. It only has one, and then also the stone dungeon room row lot cellar only has one. Oh, actually. So if you do a search for seller, the bottom four is the recipe. Only have one each. As the recipes. Oh yeah, like you're I right. Said. It's the recipes. recipes. Yes. Recipes. Yes, those are the recipes. Yes. They are Let's not the, uh, the the blueprints. The recipes. Uh, on. Okay. So. Uh, see, I think uh, he's. Wait, wait a them. second, he, his has a different up. description on them. Yeah, no, well, no, see. no, no. Go, All go the... look at his forum post. Yeah. Okay, so it says blueprint stone dungeon room cellar, two by one room A. Right. Okay. By the way, I'm under lock. Room A is not on this uh, bookseller uh, on this vendor. Uh, room. Yeah, you're right. But that was also done yeah. on QA. Yeah, that is correct. And Which... re remember, the patch notes was we also... Uh, added things. So if this was posted on QA, then maybe that was patched into live. Um, I get. I guess that was fixed before we get there. So let's see. Yeah, and, and so that was posted oh, yeah. on Tuesday by Alleyoop. Everything but this has already been caught. I'll do it now. 
So yeah. that that was in today's patch for those fixes. I'm I'm, I'm taking a guess at that. That was October twenty ninth. Out. But there's no, still Tuesday. last Tuesday. October twenty ninth. That's what I just said. Okay. So I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm willing to get that 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 was patched into live already. Uh yeah, it was either that or uh, it was patched in today. They just had to fix it because uh, it might have been too late to actually patch it in. Yeah, for uh, the thirty first release. I don't know. It's quite possible that it was something, man. Uh, but yes, and then let's see the next one, which is uh, regarding the naming of the new dungeon pieces. Okay. Do we need to stay here? I know we really don't need mm, to stay here no. for this. Okay. Um, Spoon, regarding the naming, when users are building dungeons, they don't exactly care where the pieces come from originally. Instead, we need descriptive terms which let us know which piece is which. Where it is from is trivia, which could be in the tooltip next, but not in the name. Having info like city or village or row only confuses the users as to which piece this is. Most have not seen all of the basement assets. This, since those are associated with other parts and limits of the housing system, Stone dungeon room and the in by in suffice. There you go, Lomi. Um, which in number two, which of the four by six is extra important since the unique factor is all the small rooms where something like city says nothing about how it looks like? While stone dungeon room cellar 10 chamber complex. Four by six, or infilade if you want to be fancy. <laughs> Stone dungeon room cellar tin chamber infilade four by six it says so much more about what it is. No, it ain't because I wouldn't know what the fucking infilade is, and I wasn't gonna go out Amen. of my way to look it up either. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like the the fact that like uh in solace bridge outskirts they named the camp the bivouac yes like yeah. uh, who the fuck uses the term bivouac the stone dungeon cellar enchilada yeah uh, so that yeah, one I, yeah. I would get my yes. uh get, get my attention yes Consider renaming the antechambers. These will be used in many situations where they will not be vestibules, thus making it counterintuitive. If I use a three by stone three by three, I get the exact same look and feel as the so-called antechamber of two by one and three by one. The only difference is the size and the number of doorways. Also, if the one by one and three by three are not cellars, there, there is no reason for these to be sellers either. Suggestion, name them as if they are in the same series as the 1x1 one one and 3x3, three three, since that is what they, are so, what, what they are, so they sort next to each other in our inventory. Stone Dungeon Room, 2x1, two, two connections. Stone Dungeon Room, 3x1, two connections. The city has a designation 4 by 6 which, given the default entrance, would give it the access and length, then the width. But the antechamber 2 by 1 and 3 by 1 it is clearly the other way around, width first and then length in the default configuration. So, which is it? Which is it? Proud logic. Well... We're well, randomly going to put numbers in different places so there's no consistency. Um, either you have 6x4 and 2x1 and 3x1 or 4x6 and 1x2 and 1x3. Where I think the prevalent one would be length with height. Yeah, you um, know, the, the standard length with height, you know, like, you know, like the, metric, like the metric system. What? What does that word <laughs> mean? <laughs> Which Dandard? Word? Dandard? 
Yeah. Standard? Logic. 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 <laughs> Stop applying logic to Shroud of the Avatar. It only gets you confused. I'm um, so confused. Yes. Number five, having the one story is redundant as it is the default. It is only useful when it deviates from the norm, as in the two story, which then becomes better to have the text within the brackets. For example, Stone Village Room, Village Lot Cellar, 2x2. Two two. Stone Dungeon room, uh, room, Village Lot Cellar, two story. Uh, that goes against your, your previous naming conventions there, uh, Spoony one. Yeah, also, um, uh, thinking about that, uh, let's take a look at the crown store here real quick. Oh, uh, recently oh, added, oh. Uh, uh, what is the one that's the arena? Stone Dungeon Room, uh, City Lot Arena, one floor, but one it's floor. not one floor. Because there's a stairway, and it's two-floor, yes. Yeah. Because, as everybody can see here... No, it's actually three floors. Is it? Yes, it's actually three floors. No, just the top and the bottom. Or is we that... Can, oh. we, we can go back and look. Well, I mean, no, it's placed so, down there. So, if you... the The third floor is... Uh, empty and not actually a surface that you can walk on. Oh, so, I see. I, you're, you're looking at it from... Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. You're actually yeah, opening so, up the... Uh, yeah, hold on. Let's look at this. The description. The actual... Uh, yeah, so there's actually a whole third floor there that's not even used. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's just empty space. It's the roof, the ceiling. Yeah. But, uh, you know, not for nothing, but that's uh, definitely two floors. Uh, well, yeah. two, two walkable floors and a third viewable yeah. floor. Uh, especially when you include stairways. Uh, that, that definitely annotates. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A second yeah. floor, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but why Why we're calling it a one floor, I have no idea, because it is definitely not a one floor. Uh, it, it's a shroud definition. Um, yes, it's the new, it's the new um, one, one story, one floor, but two stories, that's what it is. The floor is yes. just one floor, but it's two stories, you know, because... The catwalk doesn't count as a floor, I guess. Yeah. It's <laughs> something, man. What are all these little, yeah. like, pin-looking things in here? It's just really annoying. Uh, I don't know. If you well, zoom in on the uh, sketch so, pad. Someone's at my door. Computer, show front door. Dun, 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 uh, fuck it won't show it uh, yeah. be right back I don't know Alexa show front door okay yeah mine works I don't know why yours don't <laughs> Alexa blank screen no Alexa home There you go. But yeah, mine works just fine. It also helps that I happen to have all that on a monitor right there, so I really don't have to use it on the Alexa, but... Uh... <laughs> anyway, yeah, is, uh, do you all see these little pins all over the place in this... Uh... In this picture, or is it just me? Is that just, uh... yeah relics but yeah this is a two floor this isn't a one floor so i don't know what uh we're talking three about there three floor but three 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 floor with yeah no stairway entrance yeah yeah <laughs> okay because if you tried to put I, I something guess... oh who has a delivery 
No. The poll workers. Something. I, I, people that shouldn't be knocking on my door because they ignored my... They know soliciting uh, sign. Yes. Anyway, back to uh, Spoonie's post. Uh, it's like looked around, rang the doorbell, and then walked away. <laughs> looked at his friend, and it's like, oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, um, back to Spoonie's post. Which kitty are you talking what? about, Belly Donna? Tyrion. Oh. Oh, I didn't see him floating up there. Okay. There's Tyrion. <laughs> I, I I love the chance. floating kitties. Yes, the floating kitty. I didn't see him over there. I, yeah. <laughs> he he was napping. Back to Spoonie's post. Uh, uh, however, given the point in number four, then if you make up your minds about using length with height, then it's easy to have the third dimension in the naming convention as well. With the third dimension not be, being used when more than one, which gives the suggestion as stone dungeon room village lot cellar two by two stone dungeon room village lot cellar two by two by two the stone dungeon hall already has an established ltx would be nice if that could be used for stun stone dungeon room as well would it be great if there would be if we could have a letter for dead end like one connection like Q would be even greater if the straight would sort differently and be known as I instead. Um, then uh, it's hard to see, but I think you are using soft brackets parentheses for the stone dungeon room three by three, but for the new pieces, it seems you are using hard brackets um, parentheses um, versus brat brackets um for sorting purposes in our inventory and more importantly in the cycling interface of the crossed hammers please make this consistent because shroud of the whatever we want to call it um consistency is there so if we take all the above points into account the, the full suggestion with removing redundant info from names length, width, hit, and keep existing format for pieces, etc. Uh, already existing dungeon uh, sets with the style stone dungeon room 3x3. Three three. Adding the new dungeon pieces, uh, stone dungeon room 1x2, one, two, one connection, stone dungeon room 1x2, two, two connections, stone dungeon room 1x3, two connections, and so on. Or if we could have the intersectional letters and soft brackets, parentheses, um, Stone Dungeon Room 1x2 Intersection Q, uh, Stone Dungeon Room Intersection I, etc. So which I gives us all the info. Hallway, Q meaning yes. dead end, which would, yeah, would, that would make life a little easier. Yeah. Y yes, which gives us the, all the info we need, like the difference between I versus L intersection, which could be considered two connections. Then in the tooltip flavor, you can put all the seller village row info info you want and then spoiler and spoiler flashback from 2019 um similar suggestion with here's all this shit yeah let's go ahead and like that <clears throat> that post because um yes absolutely you like uh, all that shit? That is that is a great love this shit. Uh, love this yeah, shit. Yes, great job, Spoonie, and trying to get some naming convention uh, standardization in play. Yes, very very observant as well, Spoon. So uh, kudos yes. to you for uh, taking the time to actually uh, put that all together and uh, vocalize it in post form because. Uh, oh yes. Intersection is ambiguous. It should be P e or X, depending. Well, uh, no, I wouldn't even say X because you really can't get an X. 
It would have to be a plus uh, because getting the X that doesn't work in shroud logic, it's got to be a cross section uh, more plus than X. Uh, you know, just just pointing out that uh, I understand what yeah. you mean by T or X, but uh, I always thought that those were pretty confusing also because you know, you can't rotate those. Uh, AX is uh, plus at an angle. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. What, what happens with shroud math when you put an X between two numbers? <laughs> well, uh, that that is what happens when um, you uh, you end up with things that are randomly not centered inside of something when there's a empty wall that would have been much better place to put an entrance. Yeah, now I'm going to have to go and take a couple pieces and see what happens when we place them on that empty wall. But I'm it, sure that... Uh, re remove it. I, I'm sure that we're going to see, uh, you know, weird comments things. and all we weird, weirdness going on. I mean, but, like, uh, so someone could write 100,000 bugs based off of, like, Bug. pillars that are half-assed exposed when they should centered. be here's what the is corner. this you speak of fellow l from belladonna nothing is centered in shroud yeah not even your hey. character not even your character is centered <laughs> uh-uh it's all slightly askew because their favorite production company is view askew oh uh, yeah one of my favorite view askew view askew That, uh, once. Lastly, once. I talk about this photo shoot, and this is for you, Malhari. Malhari and the Jade Dragons um, would like a photo shoot for the 10th annual New Year's Eve uh, post party hosted by the Jade Dra Dragons. Uh, photo shoot for the 10th annual New Year's party hosted by the Jade Dragons. Come one, come all. Join us November 9th at 10 New to Britannia time in the Jade Valley at the Jade Tavern. Every year around this time, we take a picture in front of the Christmas tree at the Jade Tavern in our holiday best outfit. The picture will be used for the final flyer that we'll post for the Nude Year's party with all the info. Yes. Do you um, see? Do you see the flaw here? We invite all of our fellow av avatars that would like to be in the photo to come join us. Um, November 9th. Keep going. At ten east. Uh, yeah, ten Eastern, eleven a eleven a.m. <laughs> eleven p.m. Which is it? Oh. Oh yes. yes. Which yes. is it, guys? Uh, is it eleven in the morning? Yes. Oh, it is at 11 yeah. in the evening. Uh, that's a really pertinent little uh, detail uh, y'all left uh, out uh, there. Yes. Whoopsies, so, uh, PM. Malhari, uh, please yeah. uh, do us a favor. I know you watch. I know you listen. I know you follow. Yes, yes. AM or PM, update that. Yes, uh, but uh, it would help if we know whether we have to get up early or whether we can just come at normal you know, viewing times, normal, normal times for some of us. Late night, folks, I'll be doing depending weird on stuff. when it is, is. Yes. Yes. But uh, oh, always fun to get out there, get near Christmas best, and get into the photo. I think I got into last year's photo, uh, just barely. But uh, you know, they 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 do have some fun with it, and they uh, you know get everybody together, take the photo, and then use that. So. I don't know. I think I like. You know, you know I don't know. You know Belladonna's got a point. Avatards or avatards? I don't know. Depend depends on who it's, you're talking it's, about. It's, <laughs> it's, well, the space bards were avatarded. Don't be avatarded. Yes. Hello, space bards. Right, but depending on who you're talking about, they could be an avatard. Avatard, yes. Don't be yeah. an avatard. Be a, be an avatard, not an avatard. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> But, but Les, uh, you know what time it is for us? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be avatarded and give away some free stuff to you guys because we can. Oh, I get to trade people. Oh, wait, wait, where where did he go? 
I get to trade people on the lot if uh, M Maynard would come back. And Drip wins again along with and Morgan. Conjurer Dragon. Oh, okay, I'll mail it to you then. You too. You're welcome. Congratulations on that. So who won your second one? Uh, yeah, uh, Morgan and Debu. Oh, and Doug. Congratulations and to Doug, the yes. Wieners. Okay, you ready for a steam key to go be pulled on my side? That's going to be Volvinoff getting a copy of a game. She and the Light Bearer. She and the Light Bearer. The light Bearer? Bearer. Someone who carries something. And Vovinov is Someone there. Someone who carries a torch that nobody ever does in this game. Hey, man. Well, I mean, that's 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 shroud logic related to carrying items and we have, we have torches in the game that we can carry? Yes, we do. But that is a $10 game. And final winner of the day is going to be Jigoku. Congratulations, Jigoku. Congratulations. And let's see what we've got for the lovely Jigoku today. As we go down and pick ourselves. Uh, she's going to get a copy of Suzerian. Suzerian nice. on Steam. Another game I've never seen come through our... Uh, you. You, that's right. And let's see. Now, is she going to really like that? Because I don't know if a lot of women like having the Suzerian sections. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Yes. And, and that uh, is so, a twenty dollar game. Tina posted his uh, "I voted" sticker. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, Jigoku got a copy of Suzerian worth twenty dollars. Congratulations to you! As we get this out to Jigoku, and you're quite welcome. I'll say that early because Jigoku is always polite and always posts a thank you. And then, meanwhile, can can we post the forehead picture, Tina? I guess you put it in public, so you know we can go ahead and show everybody. He's like, no, <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> but Tina voted. Yeah, and I just uh, throw throw the forehead shot up there real quick before we get out of here. Not gonna show the full picture, but there it is. Tino with the I voted on his forehead. Yes. But meanwhile, uh, if you haven't voted, like we said, go ahead and get on out there. Uh, now that we're gonna be finishing up, you can go on with your day and get out of Dodge and go to your local polling place. And hopefully, you're not gonna wait too long in line. But we got to wrap things up because we are over time. So we will be back with more tomorrow right here on NBN. Until then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. I'm Homer. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. Bye -bye. We'll see you all tomorrow.